Here's my new track device. Um, you see it's got ball bearings on the top and on the other side and just wrapped around this whole piece and it has a groove so that it won't come off. Here it is at the end. So here I am making another track. I just welded some stuff together and it's hot so I'm cooling it off with my little squirt gun. So I've ordered some ball bearings and here it says status exception. See description below. Do -do 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 -do. Jacksonville, Florida, blah blah blah. Train derailment. Oh, FBI suspects sabotage those damn terrorists when I get this robot done. Oh wait. July 31st, 2006. Okay, that's clearly the wrong. Oh my gosh, there's my ball bearings. They're spilled all over the ground. All right, this is just a picture of some other train crash. I didn't find anything on the one that my ball bearings were on, but I'm really not gonna look that hard. Uh, but I did call the UPS lady, and see, she said, like, my ball bearings should still get here, so hopefully they're okay, and they'll get here in a couple days, preferably without any body parts on them, because that would mean, like, people were dead and stuff. Uh, yeah, hopefully it was just a train with, like, no people on it, or at least they didn't get yeah, and I also used up all the uh, ball bearings in my rollerblades, so hopefully those new ones will get here soon. So yesterday someone uh, asked me <clears throat> what's powering my robot, and I told them I'd put a... I'd just video it and put it online, so here it is. Here's the little label, which I hope you can see. There, that should tell you everything about it. Alright, keep reading, keep reading. All right, anyone who wants to read all that can pause it. Um, and that's the main drive motor that does almost everything. Uh, I believe I'm going to go with manual steering, where you sit up there in the chair, and instead of like flick and flicking a switch to like, turn around, you'll just have like a big kind of like a bus, yeah, like a bus steering wheel, and you go like this, and then you'll turn around, and then you can uh, turn it the other way to go the other way. I just think it would be cooler that way because, well, one, you generally wouldn't be, you know, wasting electricity on things you could just do yourself. Plus, you, you know, you get to, you get to do something when you're driving. You're not just sitting there, like, with your little thumbs on little joysticks because I think that's kind of boring. I think it's cool to have, like, you know, hands cranking big steering wheels and stuff. Okay, here's what the motor looks like if you want to see the whole thing. It's a two horsepower electric motor. It has a little chain drive here to power things. And it's. I think I'm gonna have like a passenger seat that has a generator sitting in it a lot of the time to power things. Because I, batteries are kind of expensive, so I probably won't get those right away. I'll just stick a generator in the seat and power it right off that. Um, Maybe in the future I will come across some cheap batteries or maybe someone will be super nice and, and give me some or something like that. Anyway, uh, back to work. And the reason I haven't been putting up that many videos in the last week or two is because in making these things, I have to smooth out this whole long part here for the ball bearings to roll along. Like if you look here, uh, ball bearings aren't going to roll on that very well, obviously. So I've been spending a lot of time uh, using the grinder and filing, and it's pretty boring. But just so that no one's feeling left out. Yeah, I'm going to be doing that for like the next half an hour. All right, bye. Of course, before I actually grind it, it's good to make sure I get all the spots, like this spot right here I missed, which is totally too close to the camera to uh, get into focus. But anyway, there's the spot I missed. I'm going to go weld that.
So here's my curvy line that I'm supposed to match these up to. And it's pretty close. Uh, but I'm gonna have to do some uh, manual bend. Okay, that's fixed. Let's try that again. Okay, so there's my line and there's my thing. It's looking pretty good. And I actually managed to get the rest without breaking it again. So I just have to regrind my spot and uh, go make another one. Painted aluminum? Not the best, but it was free, which makes it the best. Okay, now I have to cut this into these. And these go on here. This is the thing I just bent. And they'll get welded on like this all the way down. It'd be nice if I had just a big long strip, but I don't. And I've got my saw set up here with a clamp and a thing that's the right distance away and right in there that'll cut out the right width. But I have to hold it really tight so it doesn't move, so I'm putting the camera down. Last piece is too skinny to hold. Right at the end here, I definitely ran out of gas. So, time to take my tank in and get a new one. Here's my new tank of argon. And as we can see, on the little dials, it's got all kinds of pressure in it. And while I was out, I got more screws. A couple, uh, well, a box of screws and a box of washers to go with my collection of other boxes of screws that are going into this thing. Um, yeah. Next thing, I'm going to take this thing and uh, grind it down and make sure it's really round. But you've already seen that, so I'm going to do it without the camera. <laughs> 